I'd like to see how this one plays out. I'm sure everybody's seen the migrants getting on the planes from Florida and Texas and flying to northern and states in California. Well, two planes arrived in Sacramento, California on Friday, June 2nd, and Monday, June 5th, each carrying asylum seekers, mostly from Colombia and Venezuela. California Attorney General Rob Bonta said that the individuals had been picked up in El Paso, Texas, taken to New Mexico, and then put on charter flights to California's capital of Sacramento. And he is now investigating whether any violations of criminal or civil law occurred. Now, this is where I find it gets interesting. In a tweet on Monday, California's Democratic governor, Gavin Newsom, called his right-wing Republican Florida counterpart, our friend, your friend, he's not either. We don't, we're not friends with him. Ron DeSantis. We called him a runt. Gavin Newsom called him a small, pathetic man and appeared to threaten kidnapping charges to a section of California's penal code stating anybody who abducts or takes by force of fraud a person found within the state is guilty of kidnapping. California Attorney General Bonta said in a statement that 16 South Americans abandoned outside the Roman Catholic Diocese of Sacramento on Friday were in possession of documentation purporting to be from the state of Florida and may have been duped into boarding charter flights via New Mexico after entering the United States and Texas. On Monday morning, a second flight of 20 migrants arrived in the state's capital. Kim Nava, a Sacramento County spokesperson, said the arrivals remained at the airport for a couple of hours and were fed before being transported to a religious institution. The episode has parallels to what critics called a similar soulless stunt orchestrated by DeSantis last year, in which his administration abandoned several dozen mostly Venezuelan migrants in Martha's Vineyard, which is an island, uh, summer vacation island off the coast of Cape Cod, uh, Massachusetts. Bonta said Florida was guilty of state-sanctioned kidnapping. If it was found to be behind the flights, he told the New York Times the migrants showed documents to California authorities that indicated their travel had been administered by the Florida Division of Emergency Management uh, a con- and a contractor, Vertol Systems Company. Vertol Systems is the same contractor hired by Florida's Department of Emergency last year to move migrants from Texas to Massachusetts for $1.6 million. The flight was operated by Berry Aviation, an active U.S. defense contractor. Meanwhile, in Texas, after investigating the September 22 involuntary transportation of 49 migrants from San Antonio to Martha's Vineyard, Bexar County Sheriff Javier Salazar has recommended that criminal charges be filed in the case. And the Bexar County Sheriff's Office confirmed that the case has been filed with the county's district attorney's office for consideration. Now, what I find very interesting is this could very well be kidnapping or forced coercion into kidnapping under California penal law, who would get charged with these crimes? Can a California charge a governor of another state? I don't know. I haven't really given any thought to that, but it was a good, good tweet by Governor Newsom. I don't know what, how that's going to play out. I just find it very interesting. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.